In example one, I'm going to use a set of class marks here, a fictitious class marks, to indicate how to create a box and whisker plot for this particular class. Okay, and this is something that you're definitely going to have to do uh, on the unit test as well as uh, on the final exam. So, uh, we're going to create a box and whisker plot, and again, there's three key steps. Okay, so step one, we have to sort the data and identify the lowest and highest marks. Step two, we have to identify the median, the Q2. Uh, Q1 and Q3 and the inner quartile range. And then finally, for step three, we got to plot these values and create the box and whisker plot. So let's start off uh, at the first step there, which is sorting all the data. So we have to uh, rewrite the data from the lowest number to the highest number. So let's start doing that first. Now that we've sorted all of the numbers from the lowest number on the left to the highest number on the right, we can go through and we can fill out this particular uh, organized chart here. Okay, so the least number or the lowest number that's in our data set, we're going to find that right down here. Okay, and that happens to be 49. Okay, so that's the number that is the lowest number in the entire data set. The greatest number is the highest number in the entire data set, and you're going to find that on the extreme right, and that's going to be 90. Okay, uh, I'm going to add something in here real quick. That's the range. Range is always the highest minus the lowest. So your range of data, or the distance uh, between the highest number and the lowest number, in this case, is 90 minus 49. Okay, and 90 minus 49, which is the range, that is equal to 41. Okay, so the, the range of the data is 41 points. Okay, so now what we've got to do is we've got to figure out the median, or Q2. So for this particular data range, we're going to figure out what the median is. Not the average, not the mean, not the mode, but the median. Okay, that's the middle number. So there's 16 uh, points of data in this particular data set, so we have to find the average between 0.8 and 0.9. So let's count over from the left-hand side to where uh, data points 8 and 9 are. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's going to be somewhere in here. Okay, so the median uh, is going to divide this data set in half. So half of the data is going to be on the left, and half of the data is going to be on the right. Okay, uh, and so my median is going to be the middle number between 68 and 71. So 68 plus 71 divided by 2. Okay, so 68 plus 71, divide that by 2, it's going to give me 69.5. So 69.5, that happens to be my median number. Okay, uh, and so what this has done, this actually splits my data in half. Okay, so on the left-hand side, I should have 8, and on the right-hand side, I should also have 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That confirms it. Okay? So now I have to find the median of the lower half of data. So there's eight pieces of data on the, the lower half. Now, I don't include this 69.5 number in that at all. Okay? That has nothing to do with it. Okay? So my median is just, I'm just looking at, so on the left-hand side, I'm just looking at this set of numbers here. Okay, so I'm trying to find the middle numbers. So here there's eight numbers. Again, eight is an uneven number. And so my data has to be in the middle here somewhere. So between four and five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So my Q1 is going to be the middle there. Okay, so that means that I've got to do 59. plus 66 divided by 2, okay, and that's going to give me, so 59 plus 66, divide that by 2, it's going to give me 62.5, okay, so my Q1 is 62.5, here, or my Q2 was 69.5, and my upper half of the data, and I'll write this above, 
Okay, that upper half of data. Uh, again, I need to find out the difference between 0.4 and 0.5 in this thing. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's going to be somewhere between 75 and 79. Okay, so that's going to split that data up. So 75 plus 79, 154, divide that by 2. So that's going to give me 77. Okay, so that was 75 plus 79 divided by 2 equals 77. Okay, uh, and finally what I need to do is figure out my interquartile range, my Q3 minus my Q1. Okay, so in this case, I have figured out that my Q3 number is 77, and I'm going to subtract my Q1 number, which is 62.5. Okay, and that's going to give me 14.5. Okay, so all of half of my data is within a 14.5% spread, which is pretty good. So now that I have this information, I can actually use it to plot my box and my plot and whisker bot, plot. Okay, so to actually plot a box and whisker plot, uh, you need information on your high, your low, your Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay, so let's start by plotting the lowest number. Well, the lowest number here is 49. Okay, so 49 is going to be roughly here. The highest number is 90, which is roughly here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my Q1, Q2, and Q3. So my Q1 is 62.5. So 62.5 is approximately there. My Q2 is 69.5, which is approximately there. And my Q3 is 77.5, which is, a, or sorry, just 77, which is approximately there. Okay, so now I've got my five pieces of information. I've got from left to right, I've got my lowest, Q1, Q2, Q3, and highest value. Okay, now I actually have to make the box. Okay, in order to make the box, what you do is you make a vertical line at Q1, Q2, and Q3. So one, two, three. Okay, so I've made a vertical line in my Q1, my Q2, and my Q3. Then I join them together as a box. Okay, so now they are joined together as a box. The last thing that you have to do is make the whiskers. Okay, so you take your lowest value and you connect that to your Q1. You take your highest value and you connect that to Q3. Okay, and that is your plot and whisker box. Okay, uh, so what this has done is it's divided your data into four, uh, four sections. Uh, in this case, the sections are, are pretty, well, relatively even, but uh, in, so we've got, you know, the lowest 25%. The second 25%, the third 25%, and the fourth 25%. Okay, and half of all of your data is actually inside the box. So 50% of all your data is found from Q1 to Q3. Okay, but in terms of what I'm asking you to create uh, on your quiz and on your tests and so forth, is simply the bo uh, plot and whisker box itself. So you don't actually have to, oh dear, you don't have to create, sorry, you don't have to put in the red marks. Okay. Those are not necessary for you. Okay. So again, you just need to p make sure you find uh, your lowest value, your highest value, your middle value, your mean, that's your Q2, your Q1, your, and your Q3, and then you can use that data to figure out your range and your interquartile range as well, uh, as well as finally making up your plot and whisker box.